YouTube, it's your girl India Babes and I am back with another video. If you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is India, this is where we do beauty, lifestyle, and fashion, all those things. So if that is something that you are interested in, make sure you go ahead and like and hit that subscribe button so you can join the Babes family. Um, in today's video, we are going to be doing another Shein haul. It's been a little minute since we did a Shein haul, so we are back and better for the fall. I'm going to be styling a couple of the pieces that I have, and it's a lot of stuff. So, this is the box for the Shein stuff. So, if you're ready to see 30, 20 to 30 plus pieces, make sure you continue watching. <laughs> Alright, so before we get into the clothing and the outfits and all that stuff, let's get a few accessories out of the way that I got. First, two pairs of earrings that I got. I got these black earrings. These ones are like a 3D square type of earring and they're pretty chunky chunkier than I thought I thought they would be a little bit thinner but those are those and then I got these heart cutout earrings these ones are actually a velvet texture if you guys can tell and these came separately I just wanted to show you both of them at the same time just because these are the only two pairs of earrings I got for the most part. The next thing I got is just this plain and simple heart necklace. It has this little white heart pendant at the bottom. Very cute, very simple. And then the last accessory that I got is actually has functionality. Um, if you wear Bluetooth headphones, earless, or wireless headphones these are very good to help you not lose them so basically it's an earring that you put in your ear through a hole and then you put this little it's like a clear um rubber band you put it on the headphone so if it ever falls out it's right there and you never lose it so i got two pairs for each headphone so i thought that was very cool and i will be using these at work because i do listen to um, Bluetooth headphones at work. Alright, so the next thing we have here is a pair of socks. Comes in a, I guess a, like, six pack. And they're very, I like the material of them. They do have some lines on them, some ribbing through the whole sock for the most part. There, these are very good fall colors a lot of different creamed colors and then you have a black pair and a white pair so very cheap socks pretty good quality not too thick but definitely thick enough to wear in the winter and the fall all right so the next thing i got is this beanie hat on the top it says daily reminder smile do what you love do what you love what you do spread what you do I don't know what that means spread love and positivity so this is a plain simple meaning I actually have a look planned with this to go with the shirt and a bag that I have um, it's a little on the small side not gonna lie but let's try it on and see how it looks. This is what the hat looks like on. Pretty cute. You know, just a simple little throw on beanie. I don't have a lot of red stuff in my closet or anything like that. So this will be a new newbie for me. So that's the hat. Kind of smells a little funny. And then I want to show you guys this bag because this is like a match bag that I have planned with it, I think. It's a pretty cheap little red um, shoulder bag. That's what it looks like. 
you know, just a nice simple pop of color. And it's in a very cheap, like, leather material or whatever. That's fine. I probably won't get a lot of wear. Like I said, I don't wear a lot of red. But there is no pocket in here. It's just a black lining. Simple little zip thing. And yeah, it's just a simple little cute throw on bag. Not expecting too much from it. The red to the hat does not quite match, but that's okay. It's a little on the darker side. Alright, the next item I got that I wanted to try was some leg warmers. Um, these kind of look more like arm warmers because they're pretty skinny. They're not as like... I don't know, baggy, oversized as I thought that would be. But we'll see how they look, kind of style them, see how they look with an outfit on top of some boots. I'm not sure if it's enough material to cover a pair of boots and not look weird. So we'll see. All right, so this is the next bag we have. It is this quilted kind of a rib detail bag. It is in a color white. Um, it's like a bright kind of white to, if I'm being fair. I really like that the straps are thick. It seems like they stuff something in them so they're not flat. And it does come with this strap if you wanted to make it like a crossbody bag. The only thing is the strap is more like a I don't know, the strap doesn't really go with the bag itself. So I don't know about the strap. I think it's much cuter, like a handbag around your wrist like this. Hopefully you guys could pick up on the material that it is. Very different. You just have to be careful to not get it dirty because it is white. And I don't know how I would remove whatever stain off of it. Um just black lining on the inside no extra pockets to my knowledge and it does have a little buckle that you can use to buckle it up so that's this bag so this is the next bag we have it's giving one of those puffer styled bags this one is kind of similar to that one um, yeah, so it's this black, kind of a pleather puffer type bag, same little quilted style, but just larger bubbles, and the handles look like they have some stuffing in them as well. I think this is the cutest winter bag to go with, like, some puffer boots, which I found, no, I kind of found some puffer boots that I want to try out black lining on the inside it does have a little pocket up here but yeah i think this bag is very cute and simple but kind of classy at the same time it could definitely make a look a look so the next bag i have is actually a canvas tote bag you guys know i have been trying to get my tote game up so this is the bag it has brown heart details on the front and then on the back it's just plain that's what this dress look like and i wear a lot of brown so i thought this was perfect for you know nice chill looks comfy last bag i believe we have is actually really cute and very winter like i would not wear this i don't think in any other season but winter because that's just the vibes that it gives me so we have this cute little suede with some furry detail on the side um it's a lot smaller than i thought it would be but it's still cute here is an up close visual um not as high quality 
kind of it's okay as far as quality let's look at the inside <clears throat> oh well this thing comes off i guess the little belt buckle kind of comes off kind of easy it does have a strap at least so that's good So this is the inside, just a black inside. Has some like black, I don't know what that is, but the quality is not all the way there. But it is a cute bag. It's one of a mini bag. The strap is actually leather. It matches the same material as the actual bag itself, so. So this is what it looks like with the strap on, which I think I prefer it that way anyways. And I would just wear it as a shoulder bag, not even a crossbody. This is what it looks like on. Very cute. So that is all for the accessories. Now let's, oh, there's one more accessory, which I'm very excited about. I got a pair of boots. They are black, some kind of animal print skin boot. And they are maybe calf length. These bad boys right here. Hopefully you can see the whole shoe. Um, I do think I got a size 9, hopefully. Let's see if they fit. These are very cute. They're a little on the pointed side. And I'm not really a pointed toe girl shoe, but they had pretty good reviews. It zips all the way down. <coughs> and it has stuffing in it, so hopefully these fit pretty good. This is the print, if you can see it up close. So yeah, I'm excited about the boots. Now we can move on to the clothes. And then I'm going to be showing you the clothes fresh out of the bag. And then I will show you on the side how I style things together. And show you what they look like on the try-on portion on the side. Alright, so the first thing I got is actually sleepwear. I've really been into like the sleep dresses. Just throw on one piece and just be comfortable in that. So I got this, very cute. It's like a velvet material. And I believe I got this in a size medium. And it does have adjustable straps. So this is just sleepwear because I need to replace a lot of my sleepwear. So I don't have raggedy old t-shirts that I'm wearing to bed and stuff. Thing I got is this crew neck hoodie. I got this in a size large. <clears throat> Alright, so this is what the hoodie looks like. It says Detroit on it. It has it in a pink lettering. <clears throat> if you can see that, it looks pretty oversized. I wanted it to be a little bit oversized. But I think maybe I could have stuck with a medium. Inside is that soft kind of cotton material. So I think it will keep me pretty warm if I had this on on a cold day. And I got a few pink things because I have um, my bubblegum Telfar bag. And I don't have a lot of pink stuff to go with it. So I wanted to try to incorporate my bag with some of the stuff that I got this haul. Speaking of that, I have this shirt that is pink as well. It is in a size medium. And it's one of those like whimsical fairy looking type shirts. But a lot of people in the reviews look really cute in it. Um, this is what it looks like. It looks kind of big. Not going to lie, but it has, it's like a mesh or sheer material. 
and you can tie this a bunch of ways in the front how you would like. So excited to see what this looks like on with my bag. Alright. I believe these are a pair of nope, I lied. This is a jacket that I got. I got in a size medium. This is my first leather type of jacket. It actually buttons it up like a shirt. But I really got it because the sleeves kind of do this flare effect. And I thought that was very cute. But it buckles up all the way. It's not a thick type of leather jacket. It's more like a pleather, if you know what I mean. But that's okay. We can still make some looks with it. So this is what it looks like. Very cute. Um, no pockets or anything. It's meant to just kind of be a throw on. I actually want to try it on now. So, Alright, so you probably can't see much, but these are the sleeves that I'm talking about. It's kind of on the snug side. So probably could have got a size large. But it is past my butt length. And if I were to button this, it would be a little snug, especially around the chest area. But that's what the sleeves look like. I really like the sleeves, like I said. But yeah, I have on a thin bodysuit and it's still a bit snug. This bodysuit is also part of this haul. I just wanted to wear it today. It's from the Shein Sexy category or whatever. I got a size medium. I could have definitely got a size... Um small because it's a lot of material and I wanted to fit a little tighter. I mean it's not a lot of extra fabric or anything but still. But it still does everything it needs to do. I got these little house shoes as a part of the haul as well. They're just simple cheap little house shoes. They're pretty comfortable. They're very warm on my feet so far. But yeah, I really wanted to wear them because I don't have any house house shoes that I only wear in the house and I haven't ended up taking them outside. So that's for the house shoes. Next thing we have here, whatever it is, I got in a size medium. Oh, this is a jacket that I have owned before in a tan color. That actually broke on me. Um, this is what the jacket is. You've probably seen it in my other haul. But I absolutely love this jacket so much. And it broke. They don't sell the tan color anymore. And like I loved that jacket. So I had got it in black. It does come in a green. But it's like a bright Christmas green. And oh, what am I going to wear with that? Green is not really my color. So... I reordered it again in black and hopefully this one holds up a little bit better than the other one. Next thing I got, I got in a size medium as well. I usually get a size medium in tops, size large in Shein bottoms depending on what the reviews say. Um, this is a romper thing. This is also kind of something that I'm going to be lounging around in. It has an open back, but it crisscrosses with the straps. It is a ribbed material. The next thing I got is a major trending item. I got it in a size medium. And for the life of me, I cannot remember what they call these things, but it's one of those cropped like sweater things that you put on top of tops to just kind of layer. Um, I don't know if I should have got a size up or not, but it's half, not even half, it's less than half of a top. And I don't know what they're called, so. Next thing I got is from the brand on Shein called Daisy. I got an extra large in these tops. 
because I know they, I'm pretty sure they run small. And it's just going to fit like a medium or a large. So this is what the top looks like. This is kind of a casual wear top for me. Um, it says simplicity, comfort zone, and then home. It has a horse on it. I really liked how these looked on the model and I really like just throw on basic casual tees like this so and I got one other top I believe from that brand which we'll probably get to it all right so this I got in a size medium as well it is another one of those loose frilly fairy like shirts I got it in this green color very cute I love the ruching in the middle and I like the little frills at the bottom of the shirt and of the sleeves and I actually have a pair of jeans that are around the same green with a sweater so I could do like a monochromatic look you know but I actually think I'm gonna really like this shirt and it would be cute with like a skirt, I think. So the next item I believe is a turtle, a brown turtleneck. I got this in a size medium. So this is your basic brown turtleneck. It has that soft kind of cottony material. All right, so that's that. Cute, simple, nice, put together little top. The next thing I got is actually a two-piece set and I got in a size medium. I'm pretty sure it's called like the 90s Y2K set. And it has like a huge person's face on it. This is what the top looks like. It has mesh sleeves. And it has little frills around the collar and the matching skirt has the same face detail along with the mesh or the little um, frills at the bottom of the skirt. So I think this is going to be really cute. The way that the model had it on was with a pair of black boots and I could literally create that same outfit. So the next piece we have is actually a set I got this in a size large I think I wanted to be oversized and comfy so that's why I got the large it is in this cream ribbed cozy material this is what the top looks like yeah it's super oversized <laughs> so I probably should have got a size medium or a small and it has matching pants the pants don't look super long at all and they're more in the kind of um, what's it called straight leg type not a skinny leg or anything but yeah so this is for the house most likely comfy cozy days or I'm going to a um a little cabin thing for my birthday in january so that will be nice to lounge around in next piece i got is actually a dress i got it in a medium and i think i got this to be like a lounge dress as well it's probably one of those skim dupe type of dresses i got it in this cute purple lavender color um it doesn't really look like it's going to be skin tight or anything so it will be perfect for me to lounge around in in the house the straps are not adjustable though so we'll see how the straps go all right next piece I got in a size large And this is actually like a cardigan styled shirt. And I got it in the color brown. This is actually super cute. 
So I'll get in that mesh whimsical material. The sleeves do flare out a little bit. So this is really cute. I don't know what I would style this with. I do have some brown sock boots that I never wear. Because I don't think, I don't know if I'm right for the sock boot. I just, I just don't know if that's the style that fits me very well. But anyways, the next top we have in a size large, another whimsical type of shirt. I don't know what took over me, but yeah, so this is the top. Very different, like, pattern for me. I like the chest cutout. It's very different from, like, the rest of the shirt. I think that was cool. And then it has some tie thing that doesn't really do anything and it looks like it's a little bit off the shoulder and it's very cropped so this would be a high waist moment this is actually really cute very earthy and yeah so I keep getting a lot of earthy clothes I don't, I don't know I don't know what it is next thing we got in a size large and this is a top as well Kind of that same design of the last top, just all black. Does have the little frills at the bottom, and it is <clears throat> a triangle cut, I think. So, that piece I have are some leather bell bottom pants. I believe I got these in a size large. no funny smell and they look pretty long and they look pretty stretchy as well so I probably even might have been able to get a medium stretch is phenomenal 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 whatever it's fine and this is the bottom of the pants so I'm excited about these the next piece we have is a pair of pants. A pair of pants I got in a size medium. And these, another pink item that I got to try to style my bag. I'll probably wear like white on top of this. But they're like a plaid color, giving me clueless vibes a little bit. And they are wide leg style pants. Hopefully these will be long enough for me when I put them on. But they look super comfortable. Alright, we are coming up with the last couple of pieces. This is a sweater I got in a size medium. This is what I was super excited about. It is this gray hoodie type thing with a zipper that comes down. It says 1990 and if you couldn't guess I got the red hat in the bag to compliment to compliment the sweater. The sleeves actually scrunch on your wrist so that will be nice and it doesn't look too oversized or anything so I'm glad I got the medium. I could have got a small but the medium should be fine. Next piece, I believe, is a corset top, which I've been very much into layering the corset tops over things. I got this in a size large, because you never know with corset tops. So this is what the top looks like. I believe you tie this in the back so it closes possibly but yeah this is for layering purposes um yeah I really like that look so we'll see how we style that next thing I got is another shirt got this in the size medium 
it looks kind of big. Um, this is huge, literally huge. Oh. Okay. Well, this is the top. It says California Adventure Life, Los Angeles, 1989. One of those casual tees. But it's pretty big, so I don't know about that one. In the size large. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is the shirt. Um, I think it's going to be too big. But it does have, like, the ruching at the top part. Yeah, I don't know why I got a large in that. And the last thing we have is a size large as well. You've really got to be careful about reading those reviews and seeing how people look in these shirts. Because I get on my medium stuff and then one thing I think, oh, it's going to be too small if I get my regular size. And it's freaking ginormous. So, this is just a plain white ribbed shirt it is a scoop neck and it's kind of giving like a cream white but very much ribbed um it may be a little see-through not sure yet but you can never go wrong with a white top so hopefully you guys love the looks that i put together if I didn't necessarily do all looks with all the pieces that I got, I still tried on the items for you guys so you can see how it fits even if I didn't style it. Um, definitely will leave links below if you guys are interested in certain piece. If I didn't do it right away, just let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what your favorite piece was, what you're ordering off of Shein, and if you would style certain things the way I style them. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, see you in my next video.